to make an instructional video by the Morris Federation to give frustrated dancers and musicians something to do in these strange and uncertain times. I'll hand you over to Jess, who co-wrote this jig, and she'll tell you more. Thank you. Yeah, so this jig was written for the 2006 John Gaston Jig Competition at Sidmouth by myself and Fee Bradshaw, who was in Pets Town at the time. So obviously it's a modern jig, but done in the style of Leavington, the way that Pets Town danced it, to a very ancient tune called Stones Morris, which can be found in um, Playford. So in this video, we're going to show you the dance, then I will teach the individual bits of the dance, and then I will dance it one more time through um, calling as well, so that you can dance along. Um, the structure for musicians is twice through the A music for yourself, with the dancer just coming in very near the end of that, and then within the dance, it's a three-part tune. It has twice through the A music, once through the B music, and then twice through the C music. And when dance does a single jig, that happens three times, and the second and third time, um, the C music is with slows. So, Spain's Morris. in three sections basically. The tune has three parts. Each time through the dance, because it repeats itself three times through the tune, each time through the, both A musics are used to go first diagonally off to the left and then turn and back to the middle and then diagonally off to the right and then turn and back to the middle. So that's the A music. The B music is very short and it just goes sideways and back to the middle. And then the C music each time um, is where we do our capers. So what I'm going to do now is teach you all of the bits, which means if you're already an experienced Leadington dancer, you might want to skip this section, um, but I'm going to teach this assuming that you've perhaps never done any Leadington before. Okay, so the absolute basics of Leadington are that the sequence of stepping is generally two double steps and then something called a hook leg. We do our double steps in Leadington, usually leading on the left foot. So just think about the feet for a minute. With the double step, 
That's their four going to be left, right, left, hop, right, left, right, hop. That's our two double steps. Our arms, whilst we do that with our feet, are doing a swirly whirly movement up here. And it's not right over your head like a helicopter, and it's not straight in front of you. It's sort of on a 45 degree angle. Um, and it's two swooshes round for each double step. So if you just watch, I will do two double steps. So you're starting off from here and you're gonna go left, right, left, hop, right, left, right, hop. I'll do that one more time and think about what your hankies are doing. So they're gonna be going swoosh, 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 okay? That is followed by what we call a hook leg. The way I'm gonna teach these is the way that Petzotan dance hook legs, and we learned these from Richard, who is our foreman, who grew up dancing with Jockey Morris from Birmingham, who do these hook legs in quite a distinctive way. If you, in your team, dance hook legs differently than this, obviously you might choose to modify and do it in the style that, that you normally do. But these are, these are jockey hook legs, really. So, having done our double steps, left, right, left, hop, right, left, right, hop, that leaves us standing with our weight on our right feet and our left foot in the air. Now actually, you start your hook leg movement on the final hop of the second double step. Because whilst you do hop, you also turn, about a quarter turn I guess, if you're wanting to be then facing the opposite direction for your hook leg. So you've already turned to there, and then you're going to plant your left foot Bring your right foot up, I'm going to turn so that you can see what I'm doing here. Bring your right foot up so that your thigh is parallel to the ground. So you've just done, um, we'll have a plant hook, and on the hook you sort of cycle your heel forwards a little bit, and then you do two plain capers, and you keep turning around your left shoulder the whole time so that you can complete the turn and end up going back the way you started. So that's going to be a caper, caper. And each time you should be aiming to get your knees quite high. Your arms, whilst you are doing that, you've just done your swoosh, 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 swoosh. Your last swoosh, you bring them down a little bit into a balanced position so that when you're going plant, hook, they're still held out to your sides like that. And then when you do your two capers, so you're starting from this position here, you've got your right foot up in the air, you're going to go round and back. So it's basically a circle, and then a swoop back out to that position again. We tend to think of this as O's and W's. There are some places in Bloodington where you would actually do two O's, but most of the way through this dance is O's and W's. So I'm just gonna put that sequence together for you and you can see how it goes. So starting with the double steps, we're going to go left, right, left, hop, right, left, right, and plant, hook, caper, caper. Okay? I'm going to turn to the side and do that one more time because I think you'll see the different angle of what I'm doing. So again, starting with my left foot, I'm going to go left, right, left, hop, right, left, right, and plant, hook, caper, caper. Okay? That is what you're doing in the dance, but you're actually travelling on those double steps, leaving with your left foot, but heading off on a diagonal right path. I'm in quite a small space. This dance was actually written to be performed on a stage, so you do actually have a reasonable amount of room here, but obviously you have to then travel back on the hook leg, otherwise you don't get back to where you started. Okay? So in context of the dance, therefore, starting from the central position, we're going to go left hand, right, and hook, hook, caper, caper, and then we immediately do exactly the same thing in mirror image. So now we're heading left, but leading on the right foot. So at this point, it's right, two, three, hop, left, two, three, and hook, hook, caper, caper. So that's the first section of the dance. In the B music, we do a side step to our right. A side step in terms of feet is fairly similar to a double step, but travelling sideways, hence side step. So just think about the feet for a minute. You're going to lead on your right, and you're going to go right, cross the left behind, 
and then straighten it up to the right and then hop. So it's still one, two, three, hop, but it's kind of right cross, right hop. So I'll do that again. And then, obviously enough, it's going to do exactly the same thing, but back to your left. So left, right, left, hop. Okay, that's what your feet are doing. Whilst you're doing that, your arms are kind of doing half the double step movement. So if I'm doing a right double step, I leave with my right arm and my left arm stays down by the side. So we'll go one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop. That's the first half of the beer music. We then do something called a shuffle back. The whole dance actually begins with shuffle backs as well, but I thought it made more sense to teach them here. So, in a shuffle back, I'll worry about the feet first. What we're going to be doing is basically moving backwards. Your right foot is just stepping backwards, but your left foot is swizzling so that your left heel crosses in front of where your right foot is. I will do this at speed and then I'll try and break it down. So that's one shuffle back. So it's step and step. That's what your right feet are doing. Let's think about that again. Right foot here, you're just going step and step. But if we think about our left foot, it's going swizzle and swizzle. Okay? Whilst your feet are doing that, your arms are starting in the balance position. And right at the beginning of the dance, certainly you'd have your weight up on the balls of your feet in order to start this. So right at the beginning, you'll kind of prepare by going like this. And then we'll go one and two. On the two, as your right foot touches the ground, your arms come to meet each other. And we'll do this again in sequence. So one and two and, because on and, you're actually going to be bringing your arms around because we're then going to do a feet together jump. So in terms of feet, you're going step and step and feet together jump. In terms of arms, you're going out and in and round and up for your jump. Okay, let's try that again. I will count you in so that we can do this together. So in your preparatory position, up on your toes, arms out to the sides, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, swizzle and swizzle and feet together. Jump. Brilliant. Okay, that's your shuffle back. So that is how the dance begins, but it's also the thing that happens in the B music. So I'll just show you the B music again. It's going to go side step and side step and shuffle, shuffle, feet together. Jump. That's your B part. Okay, so the C part of this dance is where the, the jumpy bits go, the, the showy off capery bits. And they're different each time through. The first time we're going to do something called a furry caper. And in this case, it's going to be up, two, three, up, two, three. Okay, so we've just done our shuffles at the end of our B music. And, so our and at the very end of the B music is a hop on our left foot and bringing our right foot up into the air. I'm just going to do that again so that I can do it in sequence. So shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump, and, and then you plant your right foot on the ground and lead with your left foot. And the aim is to be jumping as high as you possibly can with your arms going straight up into the air. So again, shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump, and. So each time, it is plant, change, change, and then you plant your other foot. So we plant on our right foot first, change, change, and then plant on our left foot and do the same thing again, change, change. So each time you're aiming to jump as high as you can, that's the thing that makes this bit look impressive. So let's go from the shuffles and then into those furry capers. Planting on your right foot with your left foot going up in the air. So shuffles first, so in preparatory, preparatory position. One, two, three, four. Shuffles, shuffle, feet together. Jump and furry, furry. And then to finish that little section off, we do another shuffle. Shuffles, shuffle, feet together, jump. And then we do it again, just for fun. Same foot. So 
exactly what you just did. You've just done your shuffles, feet together, jump and right plant, left plant, and another shuffle. Shuffle, feet together, jump. So that's your first C music. Don't panic, this is too much to take in. The notation for this dance is available alongside the video, so you can take your own time going over the bits of this. But that's the first time through the dance. Second time through the dance, our A music, we're still going to head off diagonally to our right, but instead of doing the double steps as we did before, we're now going to do it with side steps, leading with the left. So left and, and then a right one. So when you lead with your left, your right foot crosses behind, and then you swizzle on the hop so that you carry on travelling in the same direction, but you're now leading with your right foot, right hand. So that then when you come back to where you started with planting your left foot and hooking your right foot, turn, turn, and then you do exactly the same thing, but heading off to your left and leading on your right. So we'll do that, I will count you in, we will start off with the shuffle backs that are actually at the end of the previous C music, and then we're going to go two side step that way, come back here with a hook leg, two side step that way, come back here with a hook leg. So shuffles first, in that position, one, two, three, four, shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump, side step, one, two, three, one, two, hook leg, hook, hook, paper, paper, side steps, and left, and hook leg, okay, so that's the second set of A musics. The B music is exactly the same as what you've just learned, so it is side steps, side, and back, and shuffles, After you've done your second time through your B music, we'll then do the first of the slows. So this is where the C music gets played slowly um, and we do our real showy off capers, which in Bledington, the first set of those are RTBs. Um, and the way they work is, we've just done our feet together, jump at the end of the shuffles, and then you take off and land with your right toes back, you're aiming for your body to be vertical, you're aiming to go as low as you can comfortably get back up from, which will vary from one person to another. So that's your first movement. And then your second movement is to jump back to here, but rather than landing with your weight equally on both feet, you land, so you're going from here to here, and you immediately lift your right foot up and stick it out in front. So that's your second move. So your first move is right toe back, second move, land and stick out, and then we do two normal plain capers, caper, caper, and we immediately go into an LTB, left toe back. So we take off, we land with our left toe backwards, and then take off and land and stick our left foot out. And then we do two more plain capers. We finish that second caper with what we in Pets term tend to call a bit of a fudge because we do a change change with our feet because the very last thing we're going to do is some more shuffles where you need to be able to step back on your right foot. So we go shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump. And then we do the whole thing again and we still lead on our right foot the second time through. So it's a direct repeat of what you've just done. So I'm going to start with the shuffles and talk you through it and I'll count you in and you can do this along with me. So in the preparatory position, one, two, three, four, shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump, RTV, down, up, caper, caper, down, up, caper, shuffles, and then again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, change, shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump. So there we go. So your arms, whilst you were doing that, if I didn't make that obvious, was as you go down, your arms are out. You come back up to here and your arms go in so that they can do the correct movement 
for your capers. Okay, so that's your second time doing the dance. Third and final time through, um, we start off still heading out diagonally to our right, but this time we're doing travelling fully capers. And we're still going to lead with our left so that we're being consistent. So we'll do one, two, three, one, two, and you turn there so you can go to your hook there. Hook, turn, turn, and the second one, head down diagonally left, leads with your right foot. So one, two, one, two, turn, hook, paper, paper, back to where you started. Theme music, we've already learned this. We go sideways, sideways, shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump, and then your final set of slows. We do upright capers at this point. This jig was originally taught, originally written as a double jig, and at this point we did leapfrogs, but there's only one of me with being in isolation and all that, um, so I'm teaching you the single jig version with uprights. Um, but you could do split capers here, or the sort where you swizzle all the way around uh, 360 degrees if you were fitter and more energetic than I am. So, you know, whatever works. Um, but the way our upright capers work is our first position is a hop on our left foot with our right foot crossing in front and arms out in a balanced position. So, hop. Swap your feet over, but your arms come in, and then we do two capers. And that leaves you with your left foot in the air and your arms out, ready to do exactly the same thing, but opposite. So left across, right across, caper, caper. And then we do our shuffle back, shuffle, shuffle, feet together, jump. And then we do exactly the same thing again, still leading with our right foot crossing over our left, right, left. Caper, caper, left, right, caper, caper, but this is the very end of the dance. So instead of doing shuffle backs here, having just done those two capers, we then do another four capers, and they're really big showy ones, and they slow down at the end. So we're going to go caper, 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 caper. So our arms continue going, this is the way that's time to do it anyway, Continue going round after our fourth caper with our feet so that it's a nice slow arc. So here, these four capers are where our arms are just circling each time rather than doing the O's and W's, which is what we've done throughout the rest of the dance. So I'll just show you that very last section, starting with the side steps and the shuffle backs, it's the B music. So Right, starting with the shuffle backs that are at the end of that beat music anyway. So I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Shuffle, shuffle, feet together. Jump and right across, left across, caper, caper, left across, right across, caper, caper. Shuffle. And again, right across, left across, caper, caper, left across, right across, caper, caper, and caper. Caper, 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 and your arms keep going all the way to the end. Whew. Thanks very much. So, you've had a go at all of the bits, I hope, and here on the screen is just a summary of the notation of the dance, which is available separately to this video as well for you. Um, so, we're now going to play the video one more time of me dancing, but this time I will call the different sections as you go through so you've got a chance to dance along with me. Thank you very much. Enjoy. This is Staines Morris. <laughs> Steps. 
truffles, furry capers, truffles.